Hey everyone, IG again. Hope everyone's doing okay. And uh, here we are with the final video of this uh, series. So we're starting right off with subscribe work and then we'll follow up with the uh, Stylo Plus here. Yeah, using a pointed triangle Dremel burr for this to do the beard work. It works well for uh, the hair shapes and stuff like that on the beard and also on the mustache. Just doing a wipe down with some steel wool. Switching over to the spherical Dremel burr, really small one, to get to the details on the beard. Just starting to get the contours into the facial hair there. Here I'm using the oval shaped carbide burr just to put some uh, relief into the beard, some contours, give it a more natural look, you know. Yeah, you want to create a beard with uh, uneven surfaces, more like rolling hills, so it's not. Um all on one plane, just to give it a more realistic uh, look. The saber tooth burr is a flame burr. Sometimes uh, I've seen them referred to as bud burr. I'm not sure really what the proper name is, but in the meantime, I'll just call it a flame burr. It looks like a candle flame shape, you know. Yeah, I switched gears at the last minute. I wasn't really happy with the shape of the face, so I'm just busting out the flame burr again, just to reshape the face slightly here a bit. You can add some more dynamics to the face. I wasn't really too pleased with the basic shape, so I'm gonna add some more depth to the piece. Yeah, oftentimes uh, your project will change like this at the last minute. So it's always good to be slightly flexible and uh, expect different results sometimes. Not your original intended results. And uh, I guess the adaptation is the key here.
Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the piece now. I think it's uh, at a point now where it's uh, almost ready to wrap this thing up. But there's no harm in throwing details here and there. Basically, I'm in the coasting phase right now. Just throwing some touch up here and there. Yeah, sometimes it's a good idea to show your your work to someone, friend or family. Get a different perspective on the the piece because sometimes you uh, you lose sight of a uh, focus and stuff like that. You're so wrapped up in your piece that you don't see certain things that others might, and uh, they might provide some useful recommendations but generally I just use my gut instinct Yeah, power carving gets easier as time goes on. The more you do it, the better you get. It's always a learning process, so you're always picking up little cool tricks here and there. Discovering things along the way, you know. It's always good to rotate the piece, get different angles, check it out, you know. Do the profile, the full front on. See how things are going. Even look down from it from above or below as well. Doesn't hurt. Yeah, the pine knots have a super nice quality about it. Very nice. Polishes up almost like a ivory. Results are pretty amazing. Fortunately for me, there's a almost unlimited supply of this stuff on my property and the surrounding area and forest. And so like uh, if you're out and about, you're bound to find some cool spirit knots. Yeah, I haven't mentioned it in a while, but for this guy, it took about two and a half hours start to finish, real time, up until this point. And uh, I had to cut it down for brevity's sake, you know. Just extract the highlights and important details in a condensed format. I think that's the most uh, logical way of doing it, you know. Just 
doing some final adjustments and modifications to the face. You know, minor details, I would say. And then uh, we're going to wrap this thing up here pretty quickly. And then the uh, next project is up in the air. I'm not sure what it might be. There was some talk about um, doing a bear that might be something. It won't be on the grand scale. It'll be like small scale bear, perhaps. We'll see, though. Hopefully I can uh, get the motivation to do that one. Like I've never done one before, so it should be a, possibly a challenge. I don't know. I just want to thank all my subscribers, new and old. I appreciate the time you guys spend watching the videos. Hopefully you guys uh, can get some tips and pointers again from this. So here we are at the end of this video. Again, thanks for uh, showing up and I appreciate it. And you all have a great weekend. See you soon.